Let's check how my pool is doing. I haven't been here for days. So those plants, oh, look at that. Because of the wind so strong these days. Oh, these two are still dead though. I asked him to move from there, are still dead. Oh, this is growing. It's not a mini banana tree after all. Okay, just checking how things are. I haven't swam for a long time. The wind is so strong. Yeah, they're burning over there and sweeping the garden. Good morning. I just came up from the pool area and just sitting here while my housekeeper is cleaning my bedroom. I haven't bought the Christmas tree that I was planning to put on that round table over there. I don't know whether I'm going to do it still or not because I don't have any party anyway. So yeah, let's see. So yeah, I'm sitting here. Okay, just wanted to share you the new lamp that I had it installed yesterday. It's really, really very, very strategic. There it is. You remember the one over there, but horizontal. Here I have it vertical. And those two lamps are from those two lamps there. There, see, change to the blue one that used to be in my gazebo. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Today is 13th of December. 2020. Hi guys, I just wanted to share a story of a remedy of mine that I found quite enlightening to share with. It's a simple story, but uh, why not sharing? Okay, it began last year in November while sitting on my balcony. Suddenly I had a chill. And then I noticed my body started to get itching or on my arms or on my hand or on my knees or on my calves and then my thighs things like that but i tried to ignore it you know because i thought okay maybe it's just a passing thing because i did have an allergy long time ago that was in london my husband and i we were we were visiting london for a few days but we flew in from sicily uh on a summer day we decided to go to london and the uh, drastic change from that summer heat in sicily to london even though summer it was very windy and the hotel we stayed in knightsbridge had i think a little bit of heater on and every time we came out of that room or of that hotel to go out i started to have itchiness and then I realized to myself that perhaps it could have been the drastic change of the temperature. But we had to call a doctor. I remember and my husband at that time, he wasn't uh, familiar with taking care of this kind of thing. So he was a little bit panicky because we were in a foreign uh, um, country, even though I grew up in London. So I'm very, very familiar with anything London. So to cut the long story short, I had that allergy, but that was years, years ago. And then this time I ignored and then it came back. I ignored, it came back. I kept on ignoring and it came back. So I started to take antihistamine over the counter kind of uh, medication, um, but not continuously. Maybe I would take like one day and then it would stop for three, four days. Sometimes I took just one time and I tolerated it to go through 10 days without taking it because I, I'm, I'm not the one who likes to resort to medication 
right away. So 10 days, maybe I didn't go without antihistamines, but I had to fight the itchiness. And then I would succumb again to taking again the antihistamine. But fast forward to, let's say three weeks ago, because I tried to understand that there is no problem with me. I had to find the source of this itchiness or this rash because I never had it continuously like that. The one in London, the doctor gave me the medicine and that was it, gone forever. And in um, Milan, I noticed I had a little bit, but then I was, how to say, uh, astute enough to understand that perhaps because when it's cold weather there, the interior is, the internal temperature is warm, obviously. And when we would go out, it's cold. So I would l open the window just a jar like that for maybe 15 minutes and that helped. You see that simple solution helped because it apparently neutralized the temperature in my apartment. This is just my theory, but it worked. So this time for one whole year, I've been trying to find the source and you know what? Lo and behold, I hope this is the right one. But so far already three weeks, I haven't had any attack of allergy. Why? Apparently and evidently the source is the fan. I know I've never been a friend of a fan. You can give me air condition anytime, but don't give me fan. Either I have a headache or I get uh, uh, dizzy or I get uh, anything that doesn't suit me. And then I have been using fan for months now because of the heat, as you can see already proven on in my, some of my uh, videos. And I stopped taking, uh, switching on the fan and the fan it's been off for three weeks now and slowly slowly my body also doesn't get to be too hot and dependent on the fan because the moment I stop slowly slowly the allergy hasn't come back so the source or the the, the root of, of the of the problem came from the fan I couldn't take the fan my body couldn't take the fan so those antihistamine that I, I bought maybe there are six pills over the counter until now I haven't used it at all knock on wood so that's the remedy I'd like to share with you that sometimes you know we always think of something already um, uh, massive uh, what is the problem why we have we have this kind of problem but sometimes we have to try to understand our body we have to try to understand what's the source what, what made it react uh, that way that came on the spot a spur of the moment like I was sitting in the balcony and suddenly I felt that chills and you know, hence it started my rashes. So anyway, guys, this is what I wanted to share with you this on this Vlogmas day. Always find out the source, always find out the cause first. And yes, I did resort to antihistamine right away because I couldn't stand the itchiness. But now it's already three weeks because I thought I suspected a perfume because, okay, to be honest, I downgrade my perfume a little bit here because it's like very expensive in Jakarta. So I bought the lower quality one. I don't put it on every day because I don't really like the smell, but it's okay. I thought that was the source and apparently it's not, but I still have to buy my usual perfume. <laughs> so that's my story of today and what else? I'll continue again another story tomorrow, okay? You take care wherever you are. Enjoy your holiday or wherever you have to be uh, confined to. And uh, please take care. Ciao, ciao. Arrivederci.